What's up guys? It's Walker and Jake with the Car Guys YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a review of my Ford F-150 Lightning Pro 2022 of course in the Rapid Red Metallic Clear Coat. We're going to be talking about everything I love about my new Lightning. We're also going to be talking about things I don't love so much about the new Lightning. Maybe even you know, kind of dislike. Um, we've gotten past 500 miles. We've got 589 on the dash right there. And you can see we are charging up right now as we speak at about 91% um, and 192 miles of range. And that actually takes me to kind of my, my one kind of dislike on the Ford Lightning. We'll get it out early, um, is the range, I'll say. I did go with the standard battery, so that's on me got to remember you're going to have a lot more range over 300 miles with your extended range me um this truck is rated for 230 i've got a little bit of a lead foot i like getting that quick acceleration out of my lightning that uh that nice four second zero to 60 and so i've been a little bit heavier on the accelerator so i'm probably pulling closer to about 215 miles of range on my average drive now, as far as things that I love, love, love about my Lightning, my new interconnected SYNC 4 uh, 12.3 inch horizontal screen comes standard in all of the Ford Lightnings. Now, some things I love about it, I love the dual display so I can see navigation as well as my Apple CarPlay features. I could see trip energy, off-roading stuff, you know, even access my Pro Power onboard, um, show how much, and we've actually got it turned on on our front circuit right now just shows you how much power you can draw while actually utilizing your truck sitting in it ac running what have you i love the dual climate control how connected this truck is and i mean it's also got that wow factor with that drop down shifter right there super cool big reverse camera we can't shift into reverse right now and show you that um actual reverse feature we can hit our camera button but you actually cannot uh, shift your car into gear while you are charging. So that makes good sense. Don't want to rip these expensive level two, level three chargers out of your uh, socket there, of course. As far as our Apple CarPlay, I love it because it is USB free. So you can use your USB for your Apple CarPlay or you can just Bluetooth in like I have today. Um, as far as the actual truck itself, one of the best things about it is they didn't change much with the interior features of the f-150 so we've got the big center consoles the nice physical knobs on the pro model we've got plenty of places to charge actually nine 120 volts some fake news youtube channels have been saying there's only seven they're not counting the two inside of the cabin we've got the dual glove box love that and we love the big i mean i'm about six foot four and I sit super comfortably in the 2022 Ford Lightning. I've got my seats flipped up in the rear so you can see how much space there is. A little bit of scuffs on my vinyl floor. That's because I'm using this truck like a truck and it's doing the job. I mean, I've hauled trash, I've hauled furniture in this already in just 500 miles and I haven't had much issue. As far as range, I'm just kind of coming back to that. The longest trip I've taken was probably about 90 miles each way. Um, went out to Tybee Island, um, drove around a little bit and then came back. Um, so we added a little bit of mileage there and it handled it just fine. I didn't charge till I was back, but I was pretty low on range. So, I mean, the one complaint, like I said, or maybe not even complaint, just something to consider is that you're going to have to watch your range. Um, as far as safety features, we've got lane keeping, we've got blind spot. It's a super connected truck. Um, it's super safe. And uh, I love how it drives, the quick acceleration, the all-wheel drive. We've done just a little bit of off-roading in this thing, and it handles it well. So stay tuned for more content because we're going to be doing off-roading. We're going to be towing. We're going to be testing this truck out. Um, we've got our tailgate talks where we towed the camper with an F-150 Lightning. This is the Max Trailer Tow Package, so we're going to get some good content out of it. And as far as things I really love, one of the best things about it, is this front here. You see it coming up from the interior. I don't think we've shown you, or I'm not sure anybody's shown you the front coming up from the inside. And we'll just hop out here and kind of show you what that looks like. I've got some groceries in there. And that's a lot of what that front is good for, just hauling your everyday kind of items, you know, get the job done, but doing it in a more convenient way than maybe we have in the past with our internal combustion trucks. Um, 
400 pounds is the uh, payload capacity of this front here. You've got the quad 120 volt chargers with a USB and a USB-C there. You've even got an escape button for when somebody's getting stuck. Super nice truck, guys. I love the stylings of it. I love the rapid red metallic clear color. Uh, it kind of matches my Mustang. I love how I can charge it, you know, while I'm sitting here at work. Styling on the wheels, the electric styling with our tool matching uh, charging panels there. Even though one is actually your charger, one of them's more for display. I love that symmetry the Ford got. All the way down to the lightning badge and the American flag on the back. Let's us know that this was built in America and it's a great Ford EV. Guys, for more Ford electric vehicle, F-150, whatever it is, Ford, it's Jake Fry the Car Guy with Walker Paul Tedders. Subscribe now so that you don't miss more awesome content on this Lightning, our white Lariat Lightning, or any of our great F-150, Super Duty, Mustangs, whatever it is. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.